What is going on there, boys and girls? How are we doing tonight? I am back down the basement, in my comfy chair, enjoying this wonderful. My this is actually a very nice Monday. I feel like the last few have been great. I hope you guys have been enjoying your day, guys and girls, girls and guys. Tomorrow at work, I'll be putting up Christmas decorations. And we started a bit today. James Mall, how's the recovery going, brother? You doing all right, buddy? Good to see you in here. Wouldn't be a live stream without James. Well, I hope the surgery and everything went well. I hope recovery is going well. So what else are we getting into today? Pat C B. <laughs> yeah, I was uh I, I was very happy to see that. I uh it's nice when he pops in. You can you can talk to him. He's actually uh very approachable, but um he's a good guy, and that was cool of him to Pop in and do that. Well, I'm sorry, man. James, is it uh, still painful? Or, I mean, I, yeah, I guess that would just... Huh, that would hurt, man. Hope you're drinking a lot for it. Or, you know, managing the pain somehow. Yeah, dude, Mike's tool shed was, uh, uh, like, as much as I like AVE, Mike's channel, I always, I felt more at home there. He had great conversations with himself. And, you know, he, to me, he seems very down to earth. AVE does as well, but, eh, you know. I'm still fighting this cold. I've had it for like. Two weeks, three weeks now. It's in my lungs. Yes, 100% there, Pat. You are absolutely correct. Not the guy letting you know. Every time we turn turn to a different hour on the job, nobody likes those guys. Ten o'clock, it's ten o'clock. Eleven o'clock, it's eleven o'clock. It's like shut the up. Because some days you're like, it's got to be like one o'clock, 
and it's 10. And then that idiot tells you it's 10. And you want to go over there and uh, let him let him know what's up. I guess I can't do anything about that light in the back. I got to just stick with the Ozbot camera. This one's not bad, but it just it doesn't focus well. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, he'd have some good stories, too, for sure. Carlos, what's going on, brother? Hope you're having a good Monday. Thank you for popping in. I will, I will say, my day started off, that was my first comment of the day was... I woke up in Mike's tool shed, and at first I was a little bit confused. I ain't going to lie. I've tried to get him to come on to a few live streams, um, but I respect his privacy. Yes, sir. Monday's work clothes laundry day. There you go. Yeah, dude, my day's going all right. It was not a bad day at all. Got some new new shoes for the work van today. Well, not shoes. I got tires, rubber, boots, I guess you'd call it. Um, I've gone almost 30,000 miles on the last ones. You taught all those gang signs, too? I missed that. But, yeah. Mike's a good guy. If you're on Instagram, he posts on there every once in a while. He's like a, out in nature with his Toyota 4Runner. So, Pat, what you got going on, brother? Back to the doctor next week, then PT the week after. Physical therapy is a great thing, but it could get really frustrating. Yeah, it'd be good to get him on. I just, I don't want to bother bother him i mean he'll answer but oh yeah who plays tonight i feel like i wasn't too is it the giants or something jets giants for someone else denver denver versus who is it bronc oh yeah broncos bills who's winning I can't believe Denver beat Kansas City. Yeah, PT is very expensive. I don't know what your coverage is like, but... <clears throat> wow. Battery-powered heated jackets, are they worth it? I personally... It, it all depends. I mean, I've never used one, and I work outside a lot in the uh, in the winter. And but I'm working, so I'm always like sweating. I just layer. Uh, if anything, it'd be cooler to make um, just heated socks. If they made heated socks, you could be out there naked. I could at least. I got a few layers of stuff under my skin, you know. If the Bills lose, I don't know if that coach will be there. BW's Electronics, what's going on, brother? 
or electronic. You you drop the S, or maybe you never had an S. Maybe it's just like the uh, Mandela effect. Rigid made an eighteen volt heated jacket. That's cool. I mean, if like if I lived in Alaska or something, um, or just Canada, someplace like that where it does get really cold and body heat, just like yeah, I'd definitely invest. But where I live, you know, Pittsburgh, I will get cold, but not that cold. That's what I get. I get the. Uh, do I have them on right now? The dry fit wool socks. Uh, they're super cut under armor. That's my Christmas gift every year from the Santa Claus. No S, someone else already had it. I gotta fight that guy. I mean, if you want, like, wool socks, long johns, stuff like that. Um, I used to just layer, but, like, at my old job, if it snowed hard, that's all we would do all day is just, you know, do a few laps with the snow blower, clear the snow, sit down for 20 minutes while it lays again, go back out. I used to be a maintenance man a long time ago there, Sergeant Joe Smith. I had you confused as a business owner at one point also. <laughs> Good socks and gloves and a hat go a long way. Seriously, I could stand out in zero degree weather with hat. Gloves, probably a scarf, and wool socks, and the rest of me could be exposed completely, and I'd be fine. And that, that would be in colder temperatures, not below zero, but... A homeless bum. I actually, so when I worked at Duquesne University, we had a, a one of those big broom, tor I think it was Toro or Arians or, it's probably Arians, but it had, it had the warmer grips on it. Thing was awesome. I mean, and it pushed snow perfectly. <laughs> Give me free health care. Gosh darn it, Joe. Go out there and get a real job. Go work. Uh, you're from the home of Wally World. Go set up shop in there. Uh, change tires for them. Change oil. Oh, there's no joke. There's literally, uh, meant the muffler was the hand warmer. That's no joke, though. It really, it legit had hand warmers on it. Walmart fired me and permanently banned me. I actually believe that. What happened to, uh, Joe Smith's, uh, Skin of Max after dark on the uh, the old Joe Smith channel there. The muffler is a great option too, though. Falling, is, it's dark right now. I mean, it gets dark at like 5 o'clock here. 
although you know everyone's on different times i forget that california's there half the time so i do have something for you guys And I was going to make a video about this, but like no one really watches any of my videos. So, you know, a few people do, but I have a few companies reaching out to me now to do um, tool reviews. And I know a lot of people don't know this, but like when I do... When I agree to do a tool review, I'll do it with companies that want me to test their tool against other products and give me my actual or give them my actual feedback on the product and tell them, you know, what's nice and what's not. So I had another company, they reached out and I checked it out a little bit, read reviews and stuff and, um, Decided to reach out back to them. And that's exactly what they said. They said, review it against other companies. We don't care. We just, you know, we want you to do a video. Give us your input back. So I got this. And it's industrial. But, I mean, it's... I mean, I already know a few things I'm going to knock it on, but I'm excited to actually test it out. All right, let's see. Who home remedies for roaches? I've actually never had that I've seen roaches. You get more water bugs than roaches here, to be honest with you. Um, those, those, uh, glue boards work really good. Justin's garage. What's going on, brother? Looks like they got the cat color scheme down pat for sure. And I mean the name too of, uh, Alloyman. Alumini. I, I don't know. Uh, Alloyman. But it, I'll be, it, I haven't even opened it yet. I am excited to do that. It's heavy. I'll have to do an unboxing, I think. But it is, I will say this it is a, a prominent Amazon brand. You know, it's on Amazon. I also have this thing I still have to review. It's a, uh, a torque wrench which actually I'll ask you guys because it's so it meets the standard of ASME that's that's legit right or is there one that's also ANSI that's the legit one. I, I can look it up. I will. But it's a 5 to 45 foot pound torque wrench, which is actually nice because when I did, uh, I put a new uh, transmission fluid pan on my Mitsubishi Raider and, um, you had to torque them to out oh, 25 foot pounds, something like that. No, maybe those were inch pounds, but I ran into a situation where I had to do like a lower foot pounds than what my big foot pounds could do. So I did buy one. So they, you know, eventually you, you start, you know, you do more work, you start coming across that stuff. Three times last week I fell asleep before 6 p.m. I wish I could do that. The darn kids keep me up, you know? 
yesterday before dark. 4.30, 5. Th yeah, we eat at like 5 every night. Um, looks like they got the cat color. Yo, yo, yo. Been, did you say that you've been killing it? I mean, crazy shorts of videos putting in the work. I'm trying, man. And I'll be honest, <laughs> the more you do that, the more the trolls come out. But that's all right. You just, you got to stay positive with it and just say thanks for watching. Or you can engage them and just get a lot more better you know, engagement for your channel, which is also awesome. Breakfast before sunrise is one of the best things ever. World superhero. <laughs> I'm definitely interested in testing it out. I got a few things to test it out against. The SATA did really do very good against the Metabo. I was I watched that video a few times though. That Metabo man does not hesitate. That is a great impact driver. I love it. I have a direction I'm going to try and take the channel, and I know I told you guys this last week, but uh, financially, that's what I'm working towards. What's up, Tanner? Everyone gets busy, bro. It's all right. I'm glad you made it in here. Thank you for joining me. Sam, what's going on, brother? How are you doing? Howdy. That's my, I say that every day probably at work. People say hi, I say howdy. Or howdy duty. I'm good, start a new job. Oh man, really? I actually, I've been considering that. I've been considering trying to get in to my my municipal, you know, a township I live. It's a good job, man. Good job to have. You, uh, you like it so far? You guys don't need to hear my, uh, can I do this? There we go. Really chill, fun, doing different things every day. So like outdoor stuff, like that type of maintenance, like roads, parks, um, like basically all that stuff. <laughs> That's a funny comment. Forty five hundred views is hits good, man. Do all the roads, parks, and building maintenance. That's awesome, dude. That's something I have to look into because I, I feel like I would enjoy that. I like working outside. You get he you know, run heavy equipment, do all that stuff. I just, I don't know. Where would they start me, right? But if you can hang in there, man, you can make a good career out of that. Like all the guys, I've lived in the same area my whole life. And the guys I grew up watching on those crews, they're still there. They're running the stuff. And it's just, it's cool to see them. You know, they, they got their own thing going on and. It's awesome. Yeah, maintenance, man. So I will say this. I, I've strangely fallen into, and I hate this, but uh, washers and dryers. Um, 
I keep getting referred because I fixed one person's washer and then they referred me to fix someone's dryer and they're referring me to fix someone's washer. And it's just like, you know, they have other work for me to do also, but I really hate the, the front loaders because of the, uh, the retention ring on the front of the, you know, it's all, yeah, it's all Samsung. So basically, you know, Samsung, Maytag, LG, it's all those. Uh, one, uh, one was a dryer, had to do the belts and all the rollers. The one roller just ate itself. And, um, so it's just like, cook, 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 cook. and then when I was doing that, I, you know, cleaned out their chute and everything, <laughs> drop it off the back end. I'm picking up the stuff off the floor because I didn't have a, a dustpan and broom. And what I thought was just like a clunk of, you know, lint was a dead squirrel. So I went outside and cleaned out the flapper. So it, you know, opened and shut and stuff. But freaking thing made it all like I, it. It was fresh too. It wasn't all like burned up and charred. It was pretty freshly dead. But um, yeah, it's all the Maytag stuff. Maytag, Samsung, and LG. The most I do as far working on dryers is cleaning my dryer vent. Yeah, I mean, that's what I do at my house and on the washer, um, clean out the drain cartridge you know um my old house i had nice older style washer and dryer top you know top fill top loader uh this new house i moved into has L lg's front loader so i'll be doing the work on them at some point Luckily, my wife, you know, is pretty not a do-it-yourselfer at all, but she cleans us pretty well. When I moved in, first thing I did was put a whole new line on the dryer vent, put an outside new thing on and all that and whatever you call that. We have a stackable washer and dryers there, pain in the ass. Oh, uh, those stackables can definitely be, you know. Yeah, you will, those front loaders are just not that robust. No, they just, they take a, it's an awkward stance for a washer and dryer. Well, dryer, I mean, the dryers aren't that bad front loaders. I mean, it's, it's really the washer front loaders because, you put something heavy in and it's just going to go down as opposed to a top loader, which I realized, you know, the cylinder can move, but you could have, you have a better shot of it actually balancing itself, not relying on the component so much. So Been doing city work like that 26 years, officially in March start out in parks and they, Merged us streets, called it central services. Rumors after over 10 years were splitting up. Well, you're getting out soon though, right there, BW? Had to clean my vent out the other day. The thing's 29 feet long. Really? Well, you do. What I used to do in the apartments was uh, unhook them from the, the dryer. And then I'd pull out all the stuff from the dryer. Then I'd stick a leaf blower on it and just and it would blow it all up out
I know. I was on mm-hmm. mute. Uh, 29 feet, though, man. That's that's a long run. I dig it. So what I'm trying to do is, if you guys give me some feedback, I think I said this last week, but it goes up 8 feet, 90's over, or 18 feet, 90's again. What do you do, run one of those snakes with a thing on the end of it, on the end of a drill? It's the only way I could see doing it. Attack it from both positions. Zamboni, no way. Double axle dump trucks, dump grinders. Anything they have. See, that's that's stuff I want to... Now, did you guys service all those things on your own also? A ridges flex. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. All right, here's my honest honest thoughts here. Sound like a fun to play with for a little bit. Absolutely. Um So like like I said, I, I want to make videos. I'm going to make a lot of them before I put them out. But there's a 1990 Ford Ranger down West Virginia, about four hours. I guess about like 400 miles from me. So a little over four hours, maybe a little less. I don't know. It's in good shape. Extended cab, four wheel drive. It's been sitting on Facebook Marketplace for three weeks. I think I might try to barter with the guy. But I'd like to go down there and get get it running and drive it back all those miles. And it's got fuel delivery issues. I forget what he put on there. New... I guess he put a new fuel pump and it didn't do anything. But I was doing some research and I think I might know what the issue is. And those engines, I mean, they're not carbureted, but they're still is not a lot to them. So I think that would be a fun little project for me. What do you guys think? Not the trucks at one time or another. Maintenance on the rest, gotcha. I will say at work right now, so I got my work truck. It had like 28,000 miles on it. I, I'm, I've had it for a year and a half. I'm over like about 61,000 miles on it. Got fresh tires today. And then realize the inspection's up. And it's the 2.9, Joe Smith. Finish the safety test, got a 9% score. There you go. Mm. I just want to see if you guys would watch that. I think it'd be fun because 
I think that'd be half half of the the battle there, there Pat. Because like, if I can't get it done, I will rent a U-Haul little thing and tow it back and fix it, you know. But repairs and fabrication. See, that's awesome. That's 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 the stuff you want to learn to do. That's awesome, Sam. I'm glad you're joining that. Where do you live? Do you have to get a safety inspection mission? Pennsylvania, dude. But anyways, I just I just call a guy at my work. They call a shop and they come grab it, my van, take it, do the work on it, whatever it needs. And then tomorrow morning, I'll show up at work, and it'll be sitting there all done. That's pretty good service. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm going to do it. I think it'd be a fun video if this guy will barter, but I don't think he will. I was going to off offer him that Makita chainsaw and my 10-inch skill worm drive table saw. Kid time is huge, man. I uh, my new job. I'm kind of the exact opposite. I got it's better pay, but I'm not doing what I used to do. I don't. I, I'm not as involved with maintenance. I'm a maintenance guy, and I do a lot of maintenance work. But I also, you know, we got set up for events, Christmas holidays, um, do maintenance, meet contractors because there's just so many properties and there's only two of us. So I, there's just no way for us to get to everything. Um, but Sometimes I have to do overtime, and it's just mandatory. I don't get paid for it because I'm salaried. But, yes, I'm not on call, and I'm home on the weekends, and I could go home for lunch. I mean, wh what I've been doing is I'll go home for lunch, film some YouTube or something, and then I'll also film at night, and then... Now that I've learned to do a little more editing and stuff, I'm up till last night. I came downstairs at 10 o'clock to edit a video and do a short. And by the time I got it all uploaded to YouTube and stuff, it was 2.30 when I got up to bed. Then I wake up in the morning and I got a 2.9 Ranger and it's an A6. Yeah, I got... 10 Rangers total. Make sure fuel filter is new and check pressure the fuel rail. That's what I was thinking. Then I heard, I was talking to my other buddy too. He said there's some sort of, uh, I, I'm not going to say it right, but a sensor switch on the fuel line of the 1990-ish ones. And sometimes it could just, like a breaker, kind of pop in the middle. And just hang there so it won't ever call for fuel. So if you can click that on, it might just send the fuel. But I dropped the tank and all that. and But the 2.9, and the interior is very good minus the headliner. The frame might have a little bit of rust or like be, you know, typical 1990 rust frame and stuff but um time with the kids is, is very important um i lost out on a good bit when i was at my old job you know first two kids i was working two jobs so it was just you know i still made time for my family but it's a lot better now
Well, yeah, that's, I mean, I'm outside of, of our city. And I mean, our Pittsburgh has its own departments and stuff, but it's all, heavily mandated union stuff and I'm sure the townships might be union I'm not sure but I mean they do a lot the townships and um they're great honestly they're awesome underneath dash pat yes exactly yeah inertia switch there you go So that, yeah, the inertia switch. That's that's what I'm banking on. You know, but I'll make a whole video. I actually I, I just bought two I bought some I bought some equipment to to try and film better videos and do better, you know. Junk from work commenting on a video the other day is like, man, you're pumping the videos out, doing a good job. And guy behind him was like, Yeah, they're crap videos. Which is fine. Like I'm learning, man. I'm I'm finally I'm clicking on all cylinders just very slowly. <laughs> but that's all right. That's how you learn, right? Like a ranger mechanic before mow mowers, huh? I would also like I have been looking at mowers and stuff. But the other aspect to this is, come on, focus, you. Why is it all? Okay, there we go. Thank you, Junk from Work. Dude, thank you. I appreciate that, brother, and I appreciate appreciate all you guys' support. But uh, I, I don't know if there's there's enough. Like, the thing about doing the cars is I can buy them and if not sell them for a profit, at least maybe break even a, eh? you know, mowers to me would be a little bit more difficult because I'm looking at the market on a few different websites and stuff. And like, I don't know if there's enough meat on the bones there. So, I mean, that's that's the other aspect is uh, can't I, I can't go in the hole doing this. I have to, you know, kind of figure it out with limited capital. But I was honestly thinking about this whole. I'll, I'll sell my Jeep truck. Jeep Gladiator to get the capital to fund this adventure I want to do on my channel and then maybe one day buy a Jeep Gladiator again or just never get, get to that again. Junk, I would do that, but I know F all about motorcycles and and quads i don't know why i could like first word of your sentence quads or motorcycles i i actually um so when i first started out I, you know i always use my iphone and i actually there's a lot of people with uh I don't know who does Note, but Samsung Galaxy, or maybe it's Samsung Note or Galaxy Note. Really good picture. Um, the first mic, the first when I first started recording videos, I actually bought a uh, who makes Snowball the blue made one for my iPad. So people always said, you know, like it was a condenser mic, but it made my audio sound good. Then recently, I just bought a a very nice set of a mic, and uh, 
The only thing is sometimes where I attach it, like rub on it. So it's like I make this nice video, but one spot's just like, you know, filter pump and you got pressure at rail, then test throttle body. That year was TBI still not EFI. I have to double check. I th I'll, I'll trust you. I thought it might have been EFI, but, you know, I'll trust you on that for sure. Keep rolling out videos and gaining subscribers and sponsors. You'll make it. I appreciate that, bro. I I I honestly I I um I'm far 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 away from it, but like you guys have all been awesome supporters, and uh, I never thought I'd say this, but like I. I enjoy doing YouTube like it's fun for me and I want to do it like more seriously. So there's money to be made flipping golf carts and ATVs and such. I, I'd agree with that. Uh, it's a 1990. It's a 1990 Ford Ranger. Which I believe might be the first year where it wasn't carbureted. Although, I don't know. I mean, fuel injection came in the 80s, so started the new gen. No, my well, my first pickup truck was a Ford Ranger, but it's a 1998, uh, or not 98. The 1994 Mazda B4000. TBI and OBD1. I'm looking, I'm looking to maybe barter for one that's not running. Hasn't ran in 12 years. Been off the road down in south of me, about three, four hundred miles, and uh, I want to acquire it and run it back up to my house because I mean, that would be a fun video, man. Just Ninety five Ranger started OB ninety might be hard to get parts for. What's thanks YouTube? What's Samsung got to get in our phone because they aren't doing any more? Oh really? This one in either. I don't know. I feel like you could get. I mean, listen. You can still get a lot of parts for Kia Bregas. And that's a rare vehicle right there. One one off year. So I will be right back. I have to uh walk. That toilet bowl water gets colder and colder every time, man. All right, let's see what we got. 
so actually, I found this out tonight. You can, I don't know if it'll work for you guys, but on my end, it'll say commercial coming in X amount of seconds, and I could hit skip now. I don't know if that actually makes it skip for you guys, but I keep skipping it. All right, let's see what we got here. Commercial on YouTube, Junkyard, Dog Parts Store. Yeah, I think you can find a lot of parts for those Ford Rangers. That thing with Rangers parts being different. Yeah, absolutely. They got to make lots of spare parts for kids. <laughs> hey, now, hey, now, calm down. 12 years, I'd really worry about the tires. I'd get new tires and brake lines. I'd do all that. I'd get it running first. Um, You know that that's part of the journey, though, right, Pat? Like, I like, I think my plan of attack would be go down there, make sure the engine can fire off, right? And if you get that, then you drain the oil and stuff. Make sure all that stuff's good. Then you then you work on the the brakes. Get you know brakes going, and then you know, run it back and see how good it goes. Mountaineer Mazda BSRs are all, yep, absolutely. First Ranger, it was no non-tilt. Three leaf rear spring, four leaf. I just sped up the video after he had his ever. Oh, I know for sure. And like, that's why I said like, if I get that, like, first of all, for the first one or two videos, and I'm not sure if he'll even do it, but my father-in-law is a mechanic, so I was going to talk to maybe see if I can't get him to go down with me. I don't want him to do any work. I just, if if he sees something really wrong with it, I could walk away. But I also have another good buddy that could do the same thing. And so, like, I might be on camera, but there might be some behind-the-scenes help for the first couple. And then after that, I could fly with it. I mean, I'm, I'm a mechanical mind. I fix stuff, right? I've done minimum work on vehicles, but I've done some work. And I'm starting to understand it, you know, and, and not just vehicles, but you start with small engines and like that lawnmower I fixed, the riding lawnmower. Going through that, like I had, I had no plan for that. And I just kind of went with a lot of the scripts that you see online watching other people. And sure enough, it worked to get that. And that thing mows my lawn perfect, man. Every time I, I love having it um, over the weekend, Saturday, my youngest riding on it, you know, just like my other two did. So it, it was very cool to bring that back to life. I might tweak that video, maybe see if I can't squeeze a few more views out of it. I got an 01 Ranger 5 liter trans drive shift rear axle rear disc brakes from an 01 Mountaineer. I actually saw a Mountaineer. I like those Mountaineers, you know, Ford Explorer Mountaineer. Flipping cars is good money. I, I remember you said that. Yeah. You do more than seven in three years, you need a dealer's license. So I'm going to go low for a while. Now, is that. Is that in your state? Or maybe I should check with my local. How do they know that you sold a vehicle, though? Can't you just, like, I don't know, finagle that somehow? <laughs> That's what I think. It's f four bolts, right? Just take the, the uh, bed off. I think it's four bolts, if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong. Let's 
Six on the Ranger. All right. Well, that still ain't bad. I mean, it's better. Well, I guess I'd have to get down there and see. I would like, to, I mean, I wanted to start with a tractor. Um, well, now tell me this. I got me and I got my wife. So that's 12 cars a year, right? Maybe I could do 12 in the first year and then get a dealer's license or something like that. I agree, Carlos. My, my passion comes from just like helping people is amazing, right? Like I'm <laughs> I'll be honest, I get taken advantage of a lot in that department just because I I like helping people. And it sucks, but it at the same time that's just what I like to do. Um but this whole like when I got my riding lawnmower back so like my youngest could ride it like how the other two did. And when I went through everything and checked everything and got it to fire off, that was awesome, man. Like it was, you know, I'm on to something here. So three screws on the fuel spout, unplug rear harness. So the tank should be like right, uh, right behind the driver, driver side, right? I think. In bed wise. I don't know. I got to figure it out though. Might have braided ground wire disconnect too. Half get down there, check it out, see what's up. You got to see if he could, if he's willing to barter some tools for it or something. It's going to make a fun video though. That's for sure. Driver's side of the cab. Yep. Oh, I'll tell you guys a story. So when I had my Mazda, you know, you got the jumper seats in the back. And <laughs> we were in high school. Me and my buddies were having a few beverages. And we used to go to these things called parking parties, you know. So you like, it's kind of off-road. You got to go off-road, park, and then you party. Then you go home. And we were going home, and <laughs> I had my one buddy. I had, we had four people in there. And the person behind me was like, I feel sick. And then he projectile, you know what, out of his mouth onto the passenger in the front seat. And it was it was hilarious. I'm not going to lie. I got hit a little bit, but like, <laughs> if you knew how the seats are configured, it was a straight shot, man. It was terrible. Another time, me and my buddy we were smoking cigars in there, and he turns around to crack the back window. When you do that, like pushes all this air through, so like all the cigar ashes flying everywhere. I love that truck. It was a beautiful little truck, man. Yeah, that it, it did stink, man. Um, <laughs> but you know, years later, you can laugh on that stuff. And uh, that that truck was went through a lot. That's for sure. I 
I bought it actually, you know, back then, uh, car trader or whatever is in gas stations for free. I grabbed one, was looking through it, found it, called the guy, drove out there, negotiated a little bit. I was young, so, uh, I wasn't very good. He knocked like 200 bucks off the price, but. I love that truck. $90 a year and $36 for one tag. That ain't too bad. You could do that. I, just, I don't know. I just enjoy working on, on that stuff, you know? Still young for sure, man. Yeah, Auto Trader, man. Auto Trader magazine. There's sitting in. I got mine from the gas station. All right, have a good night, Carlos. Thank you for joining us, brother. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your week. I'll I'll, I'll be talking to you. But yeah, uh, auto trader and like, you know, you had to call the people up, talk to them, do all that stuff. And uh, it's a good experience. I remember one time my one buddy was, you know, looking at vehicles to buy, but he was not buying it that day, right? Like he just wanted to go look, test drive. So I went with him. And I said, listen, when you go in there, tell them I'm not buying anything today. You're not going to get me in a car today. I just want to test drive, get a feel for everything. And, and, you know, most, most guys will respect that. Right. Um, and the first dealership we go into two and a half hours. I'm sitting there. I'm like, dude, just tell him you're not buying a car today. So finally I jumped in. I was like, he's not buying a car today. And then we left, but got my first car. And I won Jeep Cherokee. Hell yeah. Heck yes. Still own. Really? Equally bad job negotiating. <laughs> so I, I saved up. You know, I started working in a warehouse in the summers when I was 13 and then, you know, mowing lawns and stuff. And I wasn't allowed to buy my first vehicle until I was 18. So come 18, a few um, tax returns and stuff. The truck was $5,500 and... I was I, I called the guy up and I'm like, you know, four grand. I'll buy it today. Nope. I did sit on it for like another two or three days. I call him back. I'm like, all right, forty five hundred. It's like, no, fifty five hundred. So I was like, I called him, I sat on that, and then I called him back. I'm like, I'm like, can you do five grand? He's like, I'll do fifty three hundred dollars. I said, all right. <laughs> if I find the picture of that truck, I'll put it on the community post one of these days. Hey, dude, I understand, man. Got to get those youngins to bed. Start driving $7,400, there you go. And you still have it. I wish I still had mine, but I mean, 
I beat the crap out of it. 98 S10, yes. Deer ruined it. Ah. You know, it's weird that the three times I've hit a deer in a vehicle, I had push bumpers on those vehicles. It was my Mazda, my Kia Sorento, and my Toyota T100. Every other car I didn't have a push bumper on, never hit a deer. Hey, Jamie, how's it going? <laughs> in shop build my truck. This heart is in the way. I'm sorry. I have to before the customer grind. There you go. Working on the uh which one? The the uh the single cab or the, the extended Thirty five hundred for those Jeep Cherokees. I always liked them. I really. I actually saw today a Grand Cherokee four sixty Super Cab. A Jeep Grand Cherokee on Facebook Marketplace. I saw today ninety. Five ninety six, you know, Laredo black leather interior, almost forty thousand dollars. Thing was a one owner vehicle, and it has seven thousand miles on it. That would be a beautiful part of history to drive. Now, oh, you know what I, I, I found out yesterday is there's a car named F uh, Fisker. Never heard of the brand. Saw it on uh, social media somewhere. Boop, be right back. I'll be honest with you guys. I did all those live streams. Sitting on a terrible seat. And, you know, on a, a stool for a workbench. This thing's a lot better. Well, to be honest with you, well, two things. Fisker has come back. Chinese company apparently bought them. They're making a pickup truck, SUV, and something else. But that led me to the Karma, 
which was a cool looking car. Terribly built though. Um, so we're no longer in the garage. Not because of that. I mean, we're in like my underground stair bunker for a bit with the fish tank behind me. My old house had the garage set up. It had the big workbench. I don't have that here. With the cars pulled in, my old garage was six feet deeper than my new one. So, kind of got screwed out of that. Nick Pixel TV, what's going on, brother? Fellow Pittsburgher. You want to talk beautiful tracks? Nick Pixel got a Ford. Beautiful Ford. What year model is that again? I was forgetting it. I, th I believe it's got to be like a 70 something. Now, has it got like a three on the tree or is it. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it went cold and now it's nice. And then I think, I mean, what, Friday or Saturday, it drops, drops down a little bit. Not too bad. Again. Oof. 78 four-speed manual granny. There we go, brother. It's a beautiful truck too, man. When did you buy that? Did you buy that? Or is that like a family thing that got passed down? Or I mean, the thing's mint. See, if he and I did a video together, it'd just be, be a couple of yinzers, you know. Get down there, see Donnie Iris and that, down at Chauncey's. Donnie Iris and uh, his brother Lonnie. Second owner took me four years to find, I think it four years ago-ish. There you go, and that, there you go. I got cold, so my Pittsburghies won't really shine through, but, you know. It's there and that. Them heart attack stillers. But then you got Pittsburgh dad, so. It's all good. He's got it under control. Thanks, man. I've been been actually working really hard at it, so um we'll keep keep plugging along, see what sticks, right? <laughs> Something's gotta you you're a lot better at the whole uh video creation process. Um, I'm just starting to pick up on that four years in, but you know, it, uh, it's getting there. I still don't know how I feel about the shorts. Takes effort and time. Heck yes. Yes. The shorts help out, but apparently it's a completely different algorithm than your videos. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Hopefully they'll figure that out. But I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. 
I'm getting more into like learning everything and doing, you know, thumbnails and editing and all that stuff. And, uh, it's, it's a lot of work to do that. And, but when I watch my videos back and go through it, I actually like, I've always enjoyed them, you know? I'm not saying like I put out content that I couldn't watch, but it feels better. They're here for a good time, not a long time. That's, that's actually like my shorts are doing all right. Um, It's like every other one pops off. You have more than four times the subs as me with a third of the videos. But yeah, you're getting there. I, I, you know, I don't understand YouTube algorithm. Um, I'm, I'm starting to figure out what YouTube likes of mine to push out. I think maybe I shouldn't say that because then they'll switch it up on me. They don't like my videos. I know that, but. Uh, views is what is all that matters, right? Views and. You want as much people to return. So that's what makes shorts a little. Hard is, you know. You have to keep up on a schedule of both shorts and your videos. Like, you have to commit to, uh, yes, they can. And I, I do try to, to link them to as much long-form content that, you know. And also, I, I started off, oh, crap, hold on. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Boom. You guys didn't tell me my computer wasn't plugged in. Jeez. Um, where was I? More subs and videos. I guess I could say that too. Could be a problem for sure. I I th I think the thing was um like I literally just I didn't think it out when I started and I just hopped in and then like a few months ago, I, I kind of started figuring it out. So I have to like go back and backlog all my old videos. And I did that, spent a lot of time doing that and still messed that up. So God do it again in that, but that's all right. You know, no big deal. We'll get there. All I can say is I'm happy where I'm at. And, you know, goal is to keep moving forward. That's what we got to do. There are some channels, like, I've noticed recently. Like, they'll have 26,000 subscribers to 30,000. And they're views are like the same as mine and it's like it, they must have done something to you know upset the YouTubes I'll be right back
I muted it. Thank gosh. Look at that toilet seat just flushing down. That is me. I let my foot off the gas and didn't make it. Nick, I, I honestly, when I hit a thousand subscribers, man, my arms are tired. I believe it. I'll keep putting it out, and I, I appreciate you guys watching and stuff. Um, I took basically two years off. Um, I got so burnt out, and now I still get burnt out, but like, I, I, I have to say, like, I, I'm very appreciative for all of you guys because. I took a lot of time off, and when I came back, you guys came back, and also I was introduced to a lot of new people. But, but it was, uh, I hate the slamming lid. In my old house, when my kids were younger, I had one toilet still with just a regular lid. I'd always think it was a soft close and just let it go at night, late at night, you know few root beers or coffees and stuff but uh let's get 150,000 views a day hospital stuff with baby etc YouTube just took back Wait to build it. I I think it'll all come back for sure, man. Um, I mean, you had a lot of momentum going, and through things I've learned, I've I've I have personally still never hit a viral video, but that's okay. You know, I'm still grinding it, but. It just takes that one video, right? So you just have to put it out there and just keep seeing what sticks. And I mean, my best video might have 14,000 views, you know? Um, I'm a definition of a grinder. I should quit, but, you know, too stupid. And I, I think I, I still have... I mean, YouTube does push my co content out there. So, I just have to keep going on that line and trusting it, I guess. So, I think if you do the same thing... I mean, you've had success, so... I, I haven't even experienced that yet, but I'm grateful for everything I've experienced on here because I've made so many good friends. I was going to break the <laughs> Um, <laughs> Yeah, because, I mean, my first house, you know, the first two bathrooms I remodeled 2010. And, like, my first house is a beautiful home. Um. And the I had a master bathroom and a hallway bathroom. And, like, listen, these bathrooms are, like, you walk in, toilet, sink, shower. Toilet, sink, bathtub, shower combo. Enough room to turn around, dry yourself. Like, there weren't big bathrooms. But that's doesn't matter, right? It, it's still utilized. It's still good, right? Um. But when I remodeled those two bathrooms in 2010, 2011, in that time frame, for all the materials, shower pan, bathtub, tile, vanities, toilets, all that stuff, I think I was at $2,500 for the two bathrooms. Now how much would it cost? This whole thing, Nick, I mean, it's friendships, right? Like, I've made some of my best friends off here. I now understand, like, 
the next generation, the whole online stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of great friends around in my area that I hang out with. But, like, I have a lot of great friends I've made off of YouTube. And it's it stayed there, you know. And it's it's something I never thought I would do because you're just... Not sure if I should be proud or not. This is about DeWalt bits and new tough cases. Yeah, dude, be proud of anything that hits. I mean, I have a buddy or a friend that uh, basically there's a, a guy that had channel and he just got monetized and threw a video up and it hit for 300 400,000 views in the first hour. So there's there's definitely a vacuum to be had. Like my thought process is I have the Jeep Gladiator. I know Jamie, it's not a real Jeep, but Hear me out for my reasons on buying it. A, it's the largest midsize cabin of pickup trucks you can have. I like the bed a lot, minus the fact of when where the wheel wells are. But it's a good enough bed for me. And then lastly, I mean, it rides like an actual truck. It's not a, you know... Um, you bounce around, you know, it look, it has a classic look to it. It's, it's not refined, but it is, you know, and, um, well, the scrambler, I would have taken the scrambler back in the day, but I bought it because out of all the trucks today, it, Probably rides more like it rides most like my T one hundred and stuff, you know. But um, that's awesome. The heck was the video? I don't know. Is is a political thing. Um, which it's big, but uh, you know, you can get into that, but, and I, I know I've, I've spoken and stuff, but thing is I, I grew up where you didn't know who voted what and what voted who and all that stuff and just kind of is what it is and you know, now we have all these teams and stuff and just not, not into it real in the seventies. I get it. Listen, I get it, but this is my first, well, I won't say it's, it's my first Jeep. It's a Stellantis it used to be a Fiat. I will say the coolest vehicle I've ever ridden in was the AMC station wagon, the 4x4. Um, I forget what they're called. It's like the 80s or something. My buddy had a, one of them. Um, AMC Eagle station wagon. Loved it. Loved it. 
Yeah, Eagle. Really? I mean, pretty cool. I also had a buddy that had a uh, Chevy Chevette with the one speaker on the uh, in the dash. And then the second car is a Pontiac Fiero. But, you know. My actually one of my dream cars to actually own is a, a Ford SHO. I I don't know why, I just I enjoy them. I remember one time I was with my uncle who's you know gearhead. He had a uh, 73 Hearst Olds um 442 or whatever. And he, I, was, I was, he's driving us to his house and coming up behind us. I'm like, you know, I, I was very good at lights, headlights. I'm like, four Taurus coming up. This is like a 90, 92 four Taurus. He's like, that's a four Taurus SHO. And I'm like, what do you mean, SHO? It's like roll down the window and I rolled it down. That thing was like, you know, sounded really good. Like just a good sounding vehicle. And I was like, and that's a Ford Taurus. Wow. You know, blew my mind. But yeah, thing, those things moved. And it's a cool engine. There's actually, I've, I've seen one 95 with the weird body and stuff. Needs a little work, but I, maybe I'll buy it. I don't know. I like oddball vehicles. I do. I didn't know there was a Jeep Gladiator in the 70s. I, I knew there was a Jeep Scrambler pickup and then the Jays. I had a neighbor with a J, what, 20? J20 pickup. Um, I'd take one of those for sure. Those were beautiful. Uh, I'm oddball everything. Yeah, tool brands, vehicles, Kia Baragas, all that. Maybe I'll start getting into vehicles, buy a, another V8 Brago, and just ramp it up with big axles and, you know, differential locks and all that. The scram or the, the J pickups were awesome looking, man. They were. My neighbor had one, it was brown and like yellow. Like yellow brown. It was older, you know, but, and then his next truck was like a 91, 92 Chevy extended cab, uh, Silverado or 1500 or whatever they called them back then. But th those trucks, the, the, those ones were my jam. I loved them. His especially was just Freaking awesome. But the Jeep pickups were beautiful. Beautiful pickups. Scramblers were a little bit, you know. Then you got the Jeep Jeepsters and all that. When I worked in the pizza shop, we had a family. They'd come in, but they had two Jeep Jeepsters. Or uh, strange vehicles, you know, willies.
Well, I think I'll wrap it up in about four minutes. It's uh, root beer, cough medicine starting to kick in. Gonna try and bring you guys. I got a, a video coming out tomorrow, but I'm gonna try and bring you guys some more, you know, different content. It's gonna be switching up a little bit, but you're gonna get a lot of shorts with uh, tool challenges, tests. There you go. What 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 edge trimmer did you uh, record? The one thing I, I have a buddy that watches my channel, and uh, he's like, "You're you're doing a good job. You know, you're doing really good right now. Keep it up." I was like, "Yeah, it's it's been funny, you guys." And you know, uh, there's a lot of people copying your content. Also, and I'm like, "Yeah, that's." That's YouTube for you. That's just how it is. That's what it is. And you got to accept it. You know, that's the grind to it. Now, I guess you don't have to accept it, but. Like, I I know channels who have copied my content, you know. It's what big channels do. They pick on us little channels. They go, oh, look at that. It got some views. Let's go pick that apart, you know. You know what Lowe's does very well? Absolutely nothing. Basically nothing. They, they are terrible for products. You know, plumbing and electrical. They just don't have the selection Home Depot has. I mean, I like, I have conduit. I'm trying to run power down to my shed. And I'll go to Home Depot and get it. But, yeah, they have, like, half-inch, three-quarter, one-inch, two-inch conduit. They don't have... A gosh darn reducer for any of them, which is what I need. And it's like, that's. All my stuff's three quarter and I, or uh, it's one inch. I want to drop it down three quarters. So. Home Depot for sure, man. If you're actually, you want to do some actual work in terms of like buying, you know, products to get stuff done, Home Depot 100%, dude. Lowe's is for your Saturday. I want to buy a ceiling fan or light fixture shoppers. I like the tools, you know, like that's a new aspect for me. I like my craftsman tools a lot, to be honest with you. I might sell my 
so am I Ryobi, but uh Kia and Hyundai are being stolen here. Surprisingly, they said near the 15th of October. Yeah, they are. Uh, Milwaukee got slammed because someone figured out, like, you can, certain models, you can, uh, I don't know, S SD card or something, hijack it. Not good look for Kia, that's for sure. Or Hyundai. Homeowner shoppers, man. Saturday and Sundays, you know, it's the worst time to go to those stores. They're just like walking around like, oh, look at this, look at that, you know. But, hey, we all got to start somewhere, right? Um, I buy a lot of Menards, I would. Hopefully they come here, like you said. If they don't, I'll have to hunt you down, brother. Lowe's only has a good selection of toilet flappers. They do. They, they, yeah, they actually do. They have Toto and all that stuff. So, um. I don't know. I don't. One thing I like about the Craftsman tools, there's a lot of made in Mexico. Made in Taiwan, made, you know, some made in China, but some made in USA too. So it's it's pretty cool little lineup and all that. I got Busy Beaver here. That's, I mean, you go shopping at Busy Beaver. Did I ever tell you guys about time? I had, I actually had an eighth grade project. Mm. Excuse me. Dial up internet. It's on Beavers. And I needed some pictures of Beavers just to finish out my project. So hop on the old AOL. And I typed in beaver pictures, and guess what showed up? Not an animal. And then my dad comes around the corner and sees it. But I explained myself, and I told him, like, why did this come up when I typed in beaver and he goes, well, son, that's another name for a woman's. And it starts with a P word. He used the P word. But yes, that happened to me. It was uh, a terrifying experience. Always oh, learning, <laughs> yeah. I learned a lot that day, man. Beaver can mean a couple things. But anyways, guys, I, I think I got to run. I appreciate you all joining me. And I'm going to keep this up as long as I can. Monday nights, unless it's like sports or something gets in the way with the kids. Um, but yeah, every Monday... 9, what, 9.30, um, 
do live streams. I appreciate you guys all coming out, hanging out, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a good night. Have a great week. And uh, keep on, keep on.